Just threw on some uh, mustard and seasoned salt covered chicken directly on charcoal. Done it with steak a couple of times now, so we'll try to see what chicken looks like. Um, probably going, huh, look pretty good. Uh, probably gonna go about two and a half minutes per side, and then I'll have to offset it, um, as I don't like my chicken medium rare, <laughs> as I've said, and uh, I like it well done. So we'll see how this goes. This project, anyway. Um, it's got a nice char smell going right now. It's about two minutes into it, so I'm gonna turn it over, see what it looks like, and uh, go from there. God, that charcoal's hot. As you can see it kind of stuck there. Maybe it did, I don't know. I'm trying to hold the phone and deal with 500 degree charcoal. Um, I can see some spots aren't getting hit. Oh, that's hot. I like the steak. This is that natural charcoal, so who cares if it gets on there? Whatever. Oh, wow. But, uh, maybe if I throw some truffle right, right there. Right on some of those raw spots, that'll help speed up the process. I don't know. It definitely sticks more to the chicken than the steak. Throw some there. Uh, throw some right, right on there. All right, let's see how that goes. Wow, it's hot. Right on there. All right, cover it up. Get those raw spots. My hand is literally on fire. Looking pretty good though, I think. I'll tell you one thing, it's hot holding the phone even near there. Near there. I'm just kind of trying to assess where I can throw some more charcoal. There we go. Works for me. Something new, you know, try chicken. Paid what, $2.49 a pound or something like that. Can't beat it. So after that, I'll take this off, put it on my grate there, being held up by my chimney, and uh, probably go about six minutes off direct heat or it with indirect heat. Um, that grill's still gonna get hot. I bet it's gonna be. 400 in there but uh, I used a full full chimney of charcoal so we'll see how this goes I'll be pulling it off in about 40 seconds or so or actually right about now sounds good yeah I think so all right, so I'll put the phone down for a bit and come back to it. So here I am checking it again after about eight minutes um, in direct heat. Uh, looking pretty good, I think. There's one, there's another one. This is my uh, dinners for the week. Uh, you can see how that... That just gets the, the fat there. Look right in there. But uh, touching it, I, I'm actually going to give it another five minutes. It doesn't appear done. And obviously with poultry, better to be safe than sorry. So, yeah, um, feeling around there. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get five more minutes then. Uh, take it off and uh, let it rest for about six minutes or so somewhere around there plus it looks like it's about to rain I better get this get this stuff moving but uh yeah I'm happy um it didn't burn as bad as I thought it maybe would with uh two two and a half minutes per side 
So I think we'll go with that. And uh, basically that's it. I'll look around and I don't see any deer. That's too bad. Oh well, at least I got chicken. Get them deer during the during the season. But uh, again, a success in my opinion. We'll see how it tastes though. I don't know. I'm not gonna cut it open on the video or anything like that. But uh, I'm happy with it. And like I said, so I've done steak now. I've done chicken. What's next? Um, I don't know. Pork chops. Pork. Maybe pork tenderloin. I'll have to do that. All right. And I'm signing out. Take care.